Real Life Trading Nation. Hey friends and traders all over the world. My name is Jesse James LeVan from Real Life Trading and I'm here just to give you a quick video on my recommendations for a trading computer and how to get started. Now there's tons of different manufacturing brands out there of computers, laptops, desktops, um, but I don't want to get into the, the weeds of those. I want to talk about what you're really going to be looking for as far as the performance requirements. So the first thing you'll probably notice is what's called the CPU. That's a little microchip inside that does all the processing for the actual computer. Now its performance is measured in gigahertz and you'll usually see it on the packaging as GHZ. So for this, you want to try and target a computer that has at least a two gigahertz processing speed. Um, 2.5 is better. Uh, a lot of the Intel chips that you see, they do have what's called turbo boost and those can turbo boost um, the processing speed up closer to four, which is really good. Now, the second thing that you wanna look for is the RAM, or stands for random access memory. Now, unlike the hard drive, your RAM is what your computer uses for processes that it's doing on a short basis um, and applications that are currently running on your system. Now, for this, you wanna target something that has at least eight gigabytes. So you'll see a GB behind it, you want that number to be at least an eight and that'll help you with just processing the applications that you're running and for the third thing that we're going to look at we want to look at the hard drive i would personally recommend at least 250 gigabytes that's how they're measured you'll see gb behind it uh, at least a 250 gigabyte hard drive and if you can get it get the one that says ssd that stands for solid state drive you also have an hdd which is a hard disk drive the main difference there is hard disk drives actually have a physical disk inside that spin when it's processing information and saving it. Whereas the solid state drives, as the name suggests, it is just, um, there's no moving pieces inside to save the information on. And the hard drive is where all of your applications and files that you're saving, that's where they're saved to on your computer. Now, these recommendations are just a good sound foundation and at least a minimum from my perspective of what you want to look for to have a good trading experience and not have any lag or issues when trading with your computer. Obviously anything that exceeds any of those specs that I recommended is certainly good. You could buy a high performance gaming laptop and you're going to be in great shape. One other thing that I did want to point out, if you're looking to have a lot of monitors, uh, more than one or if you have a docking base with you know additional two so if you're looking at three or more monitors you may want to look into upgrading your what's called a graphics card so you can get more monitors and the more monitors you want you need more of those graphic cards or graphics cards that are specifically built for additional uh, monitors i hope you found this video extremely helpful if you have any questions feel free to reach out take it easy love life live life and trade it see ya Thank you.